Renslayer, you know, she is completely unimpressed by Loki. 42. I custodi hanno messo su un notevole circo. E vedo che i clown interpretano il loro ruolo alla perfezione. Sì. Do the Infinity Stones are used as paperweight? So what do you believe that Thanos would say about it? Oh my God. I mean, I have no idea. It's, it's funny. I think that's the fun thing about the TVA and the fun thing about Renslayer is that there is a sort of healthy disdain and perspective on the whole of the, the journey of the Avengers. And, you know, I think because the TVA sort of sits outside of, of what we've seen in Marvel films so far, you know, and even for... Um, Renslayer, you know, she is completely unimpressed by Loki, you know, and a lot of the things that hold huge status in the outside world in the TVA are meaningless, you know, like Loki can't use his his magical powers, you know, and the TVA has such a huge perspective on the multiverse that, um, but yeah, it really does put things into perspective. Um, so things like, you know, you know, the, the Infinity Stones as paperweights, I kind of think is kind of funny. I think Thanos would be like, what's it all for? You know, he has that kind of um, spirit, doesn't he? That kind of contemplative spirit. I think he'd be like, oh, then what is it? What is it all for? (laughs) (laughs) One of the big questions of this show is uh, what makes a villain? Uh, Because the villain of my story could be the hero of his own story, So what do you think? What makes a villain? I think it's a really good question that the show really um, explores because I don't I don't think it's a simple answer. I think every villain, especially I feel in the Marvel Universe, to me is I understand them. I do totally understand Thanos and I understand Killmonger. I understand Loki. I understand Loki, sometimes I'm like, mm. sometimes I think he's <laughs> bad. Um, but Thanos and Killmonger, those two in particular, I was like, I get it. Like, I don't think they're wrong. I think they're going about it wrong, but I don't think they're wrong. I don't know what makes a villain. I think, you know, a villain is literally, I think it's in the eye of the beholder. It's which side are you on? Which side, what what matters to you and what you know, so we see it here every day, like somewhat, we're so opposed to each other now. We have people, we have the right and we have the left and we have, you know, religious and we have, you know, atheism. We have like, so depending on which side you're on, the other person is wrong. The other person is bad. And like, we, I, I think what we need is a little understanding and a little, you know, co- connectivity. Yeah. I think that's an interesting question because obviously, typically, I think people would have seen Loki as a villain, but he's he's sort of now our anti-hero because we're rooting for him in the show. And I think he is a sort of lovable rogue. And I think that that's the interesting thing. And one of the themes of the show is, is anybody completely good? Is anybody completely bad? You know, I think every character is flawed in a way. And, and that's, very human and um and very relatable so i think it's it's kind of nice that we're sort of grounding these archetypes of hero and villain and actually making things a little bit more complicated as they are in life 